Hello guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Hit the bell icon button so that you don't miss out any tutorial. Hello everybody and in this video I will show you how you can actually automate the entire process of hacking Android and iOS devices. Now in the previous videos we were, we showed how we can actually hack some Linux systems, we also saw how we can hack all Windows systems as well. And I also showed you how you can uh, run the attacks over the internet. But right now, let's see what we can do with the Android attacks, for example. So if I just open up my terminal first, type in the root password, I will make this larger so you can see. And what I want to do right now is go to the Firefox. So just open up your Firefox. The tool is called Venom, uh, I believe, or something like that. I already have it installed, so I will not install it, but I will show you from where you can get it. It is on GitHub, so you just do the simple git clone and then the link.git and you just run the program. It is very simple. So Venom GitHub right here. And you go to the first link, as it says right here, GitHub Venom Metasploit Shellcode Generator. It is a very simple tool to use, so just copy the link and git clone it to your directory. As we can see, download installed. The first part you need to do is git clone this link right here, then set files execution permissions to, so first change directory to the Venom, and then sudo uh, change mode minus R plus X uh, all files this basically star right here stands for all files.sh and also the same do that for python files if you do not have dependencies installed you can set up the set run the setup.sh and then after that you can run the main tool so if you do not have all the dependencies installed and if you do not download the files to already be executables you need to follow these four steps or basically these three steps the fourth one is just running the tool so once you do that uh, you should be good to go. Let me just find where I downloaded it. Desktop. Or we can just locate Venom. Simple as that. So locate Venom. Or maybe it's not the... Okay, so it is in Python files. Okay, so change home, user, desktop, Python files, Venom. So here you will have these same files right here. Uh, if you already ran the entire installation process, all you need to do is run this venom.sh file. So you do that with slash venom.sh and this will open up the shellcode generator. Now the first thing that it will ask you is to input your IP address. Now if you do not know your IP address, you can just check it with ifconfig. I know mine, so it is 192.168.1.15. Oops, 15. Click here, enter, and it will open this uh, welcome box right here with the banner. Print, press enter to continue. We press enter. It will ask us which shell codes do we want to generate. Now, as we can see right here, it doesn't only generate the Android and iOS payloads. It can also also generate the Linux, Windows, and multi OS payloads. Now, since we already covered all of the other ones, we will just cover the Android ones and iOS. So just click here 4, which stands for basically both of these. So just click 4 as a category number. It will say loading Android iOS agents. Now, since I don't have the iOS uh, mobile phone with me, I will go with the Android attack. So choose agent number. Agent number 1 is the Android, so just check here 1. It will ask you for your... IP address once again, since it is specifying it in the interpreter as the L host, which is your listening IP address, which is in my case 192.168.1.15. And right now we specify the shell code, the listening port to be 4444. Enter payload output name, example shell code, so we can name it anything we want. Let's just name it as they say, so shell code. And this will open up this shell code generator, which will generate the the shellcode for us, as we can see, some of the settings down below are L port and L host that we set, and payload that we use is Android Meterpreter Reverse TCP. Now, you might notice that you can actually use this uh, payload in the Metasploit framework as well, so you do not have to automate this process with this tool if you do not want to. It is just a lot easier since it does everything for you. You can create the payload with the MSF Venom and then run the multi handler as a 
uh, as a listener on your Metasploit framework console and perform the same steps as with the Windows exploits for example. So you just set these options right here and check the payload to be Android Metarpeter Reverse DCP. So let's see what it asks us right here. Payload stored in home user, okay, so it made our shellcode, it is in this directory right here, as the shellcode.apk, which is basically the application which is going to run on our Android device. So what we want to do right here is do we want to set up a multi-handler by default or Apache 2 malicious URL. So what we want to do is basically set up Apache 2. Or you can go with the multi-handler as well. I will go with the Apache 2 right now. And it will start up by default our listening. As we can see right here, it set all the options, the L host, the L port, the the Android Metropolitan Reverse TCP and it is started Reverse TCP Handler on 192.168.1.15 which is my IP address. So if we go right here and visit my my uh, Apache 2 or my IP address, my Apache 2 web server, so 168.1.15 and we go right here as we can see as, as soon as I uh, type typed in my IP address, it asks me to download the shellcode.apk file. Now, of course, I will not download it on my laptop since it won't really work, but we can see that the download is automated, so as soon as you visit this, the process of uh, downloading is automatic, so you can basically spoof the local area network and make everyone redirect to this page, and maybe some of them will actually download this program, but that is not that smart of an attack, so let us actually, I will now open, oops, I will now open the application from my mobile phone. So let me open up my mobile phone. I will type in the IP address. I will visit it and as soon as I do, it says this type this type of file can harm your device. Do you want to keep shellcode.apk anyway? Now maybe if you were able to perform some social engineering attack, maybe they will click here OK and shellcode apk downloaded in chrome. Now you can't see what I'm doing on my mobile phone, but currently I'm downloading the application. Now the most suspicious part right here is when it asks, do you want to install this application? It will get access to modify system settings, take pictures and videos, modify your contacts, read your contacts, access uh, all of the stuff, record audio, read your text messages, modify or delete the contents of your SD card directly call phone numbers. So that is everything that we can do with this application and if they click install and install the application uh, PlayPro does not directly install anyway, it will guess, it will say that the application or the mobile phone doesn't recognize this pro producer of this application, you just click OK and open the application and as we can see as soon as I clicked open we got the interpreter session one open. So, in order to check out what your available options are with the Android payload, uh, you just type here, whoops, not get UID, you type here help. Let us enlarge this window so we can see it a little bit better. And you can see we get some of the uh, additional uh, components to this instead of the, that we get some of the more options than in the previous exploit, such as check root, dump call log, so we can get the call log, dump contacts, dump SMS, we can read all of the SMS messages, geolocate, uh, geo send SMS, so we can actually send SMS, if you just type right here, send SMS, it will tell you the syntax for sending the SMS, so the send SMS minus D for the destination number, so you just select the destination number, and minus T for the target number, so you can actually send the SMS message from that phone to someone. And this is the T for the uh, SMS body text, as it says right here, so this is the message itself. You can also play the audio, which we can do on Windows as well, and all of this is the same as before. Grab screenshot, shell, execute, get UID, so you can see that I really am on a mobile phone. As we can see server username, this is the name of the mobile user currently. And you can do all of this stuff uh, if you wanted to. You can record microphone, you can go into shell, local time. So basically these are the more, uh, well basically these are the important commands or the new commands that we didn't cover. All of these are the same as in other exploits. As we can see the Android commands are right here. And you might want to actually check out some of these. We will not be actually going through them. Uh, there is really no point. They just You just click here the name of one of those and it will give you the syntax to run it and you just run that. 
So that would be about it for this venom.sh tool. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. If you like the video, do give us a thumbs up and share it. Also check out amazing discounts and offers on our premium courses in the description below.